making some progress, Nick. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, we're, we're excited to, uh, to get the season started. It's been a, a great couple days. Um, you know, flying from New York back here, I think that it's been a great experience for Nick uh, and some of the other players that were representing our conference. I thought they did a, an unbelievable job. Uh, there's so many great players in this conference. Uh, certainly, I, I know these guys were, were, were humbled by uh, having the ability to represent our whole conference. And in particular, Nick uh, representing uh, our, our team. So, uh, again, we're excited. The season, uh, we get started next Thursday. I, I think we have uh, an excellent football team. I think we've had a – Nick could probably tell you more about the summer. Uh, we've had a good summer of preparation. Uh, I'll know a lot more about that preparation next Thursday as we get on the football field. But uh, it, this is a team – uh, when you look at our strengths, uh, obviously our, our quarterback position is a, a great place to start with our strengths. Uh, last year that was a, a little bit of a, a question mark, uh, uh, and I think a lot of people questioned our ability uh, in picking us preseason eighth. Uh, obviously we finished second, uh, tied and went to the Holiday Bowl. So, uh, again, uh, this is a team that I thought really achieved uh, some, some good things a year ago. Uh, the loss to Nebraska was, was very disappointing in a lot of different ways. And I think it's really helped uh, motivate and refocus our football team on what we want to do this season and how quickly things can, can disintegrate uh, on you if you don't do things right. And we certainly made our share of mistakes. And we're excited to, to get back out and correct some of those mistakes. The, the big, uh, you know, offensively, we, we return, uh, I think, nine starters, eight or nine starters. Defensively will be our greatest question mark. Um, in, in our ability to, to mature uh, defensively will be the key for us, uh, replacing three really quality linebackers. Uh, I feel like we have, talent to, we have talent there. Now our ability to, to make them productive players, that's the key. The talent is one thing, being a productive player in this league, being able to make plays on third down, uh, make big plays uh, is the key, and that will be the key for us. Uh, again, I feel very strong about our position. Uh, I think this is a team that uh, can compete uh, across the board. Uh, we proved that a year ago, and, and we're looking forward to uh, hopefully proving it again. Thank you. Nick? Do you, you want Nick to say something? Or no, we'll go ahead and take questions. Questions, yeah, we'll questions be good. You covered everything, so. <laughs> Here we got a question in the back right. Hi, Nick. Uh, Marsha Smith from the Orange County Register. I noticed you had uh, uh, some time to spend with a number of quarterbacks uh, over the last couple of days. And can you talk about just the strength of that position in the Pac-10 and kind of what you got to see from the other quarterbacks personally off the field? Well, they took four of us to Bristol, Connecticut, and New York. And I mean, we're not just the four. Uh, we're four good quarterbacks in the Pac-10, but every team's got a great quarterback in the Pac-10. And uh, it was just a neat experience for us. It was fun going up to the East Coast and just spreading the Pac-10. Um, it, was, it was just neat being around them because they're all just, we all had a good time. Uh, they're all great guys, very humble, uh, very confident individuals. And you can just tell that they're great leaders on their team. But uh, when we, we were together, you know, we talked a little bit about football, but it was just fun hanging out with them and just seeing them as guys. And they're all, you know, they, very, they carry themselves very well. Questions? Yeah, over here on the left. Bud Weather, Seattle Times. Mike, um, how, how do you feel about the replacement of the uh, starting linebackers? Well, I think we, we have uh, some talented players. Uh, we brought in two junior college uh, players a, a year ago or at midterm, uh, Derek Earls and Paul Vasallo, uh, two highly recruited kids that I, I feel very confident in. And then we have some young linebackers, uh, Jake Fisher, uh, a guy that played uh, backed up last year. Uh, a young player that uh, you know we feel very confident in. So uh, we we just uh, we our young players are going to have to step up. Guys are young in the program uh, and be players for us. So uh, again, uh, that'll be a, a key element uh, to to our team. But uh, you know we just got to get out there and go to work and and see where we're at. But uh, again, I'm confident in their ability. And uh, but that's uh, that's different than making those plays on Saturday afternoon with. Uh, you know, with the game on the line. So we'll, we'll just have to, 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 to work hard at it. We've always had a good defense, and I don't, uh, I don't see that changing. On the right side, in the back. Mike, uh, with, with losing Della Shandine, who, 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 who are the players that need to step up with him gone? 
Well, obviously, Jerron Kreiner needs to – he's the number one guy. We know what kind of player Jerron Kreiner is. I mean, he has to be that uh, – that beast of a receiver outside that really can make all the plays. Uh, I think the Jerron Kreiner is a guy that's just starting to scratch the surface of being a, a true number one player uh, across the board at any level. He's a guy that uh, we're going to have to go to and lean on. Uh, he's a guy that's maturing. So he, he'd be the, you know, he's the, you know, obviously the, the go-to guy. Uh, from there, you you, we, you got to look at Travis Cod, Cobb, uh, a guy that's uh, been from Blinn Junior College, a, a player that has tremendous speed. Uh, David Douglas will, will be a guy that we need to get more out of that uh, now will step up. Uh, from that position, uh, Gino Crump, uh, 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 a, a walk-on player that we, you know, from West Virginia that we feel very uh, strongly in. And uh, Nick could probably answer that question. He's been throwing to these guys all <laughs> summer. So, um, you know, he can give you probably a better gauge and, you know, what we need to do. Yeah, uh, losing Daylaw was tough, but, you know, things happen. And we're going to have guys step up. But like he said, we got uh, Travis Cobb. And I know Jerron, uh, he's just a playmaker. Um, as many of y'all saw him, made, he made a lot of plays last year. And he, he's a, even better this year. But uh, you got David Douglas, Travis Cobb, uh, Gino, and then you got all those receivers working both sides of the ball. So uh, we'll be we'll be fine at receiver. They're going to step up. I know they will. Left hand side over here, uh, Coach. I, I just want you to talk about Adam Grant getting him back for a six year and kind of how that worked and then what he mean what that will mean to your offense. Well, uh, sure. Uh, Adam uh, had some really uh, difficult times early in his career. Went through uh, was it two or three? Uh, I don't know. I can't even count. There's a lot. ACL injuries. Uh, uh, the whole first three years of his career were um, were taken away by um, uh, some surgery. So uh, he's a guy that uh, just came into his own uh, two years ago, played for the first time, was um, was a little insecure about being out there just because of the significance of his injuries. Last year came on and was a, you know, one of our premier players. Uh, and now this year, having both those years uh, of playing is much, just a, a much more polished and stronger um, a player. So we're, you know, we're, we're very grateful to get him back. Uh, but he's, you know, that's, that's why they have those hardships. He had three seasons uh, taken away from him. Right here in the front row. Uh, you've had two really strong last two seasons. As Jim Harborough might say, you're not looking to sustain but move forward. Um, on, a, on a macro level, what do you have to do to put it all together and punch a ticket to the Rose Bowl with, with it being wide open this year? Well, I think uh, we have done some, you know, have had some successful seasons, been there, done that, and want to take the next step. And, and that's where the maturity of your program hopefully it takes over. Uh, for us, uh, again, uh, we, we're going to have to play. This is as competitive a season as I think it will be more competitive than it was a year ago. Uh, with the tremendous balance of, of, uh, of, of teams. Uh, so, uh, again, I, I think uh, for us to, you know, we have a favorable side of the schedule. Uh, we play seven home games this year. We play five in the Pac-10. Uh, we, last year we had to play the five on the road. I, I think there's significance in, in, in winning championships. Things have to fall right. Uh, you have to stay healthy. We're not as deep a team as we were a year ago. Uh, but I, I think we'll be better. Uh, I think we're a better team if we can certain things take place for us defensively um, uh, to, to get ourselves. But I, I think uh, when you look at each team in this conference, I think there's tremendous strengths in every team. And, but there's some, there's some questions that, that need to be answered. And, and the team that probably answers them the quickest and the best is going to be the team that wins it. Question here in the left in the middle. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? I actually got two questions. Um, the first one was, um, over the summer, there was a lot of talk about the expansion, and it looked like it was going to be a done deal until the last minute. Coach, personally, can you talk about your thoughts about the expansion? and Because and, it would have created the opportunity where you might be playing your brother once a year. And then this question for both of you is about, Nick, how much of a difference will it be this year knowing that you're going to be the starter right off the bat? Because I know last year you didn't start till like a couple games in the season. How much of a difference do you think that will make in your performance this year? Go ahead, Nick. I'll let you start. Well, it's just uh, it's a it's a lot different. Um, I got to start nine games. I got the experience under my belt, 
And uh, we go into this season with a more of an identity to our offense. Last season, we didn't really have an identity. We didn't really know what we were going to be doing. Uh, we had we we had an offensive set, but it was two different things. Cause, and we lost Gronkowski yeah. in the preseason, you know, and it changed our, our whole offensive philosophy. Yeah, it changed the dynamic of it because Gronkowski is just, uh, he's just a beast. Uh, you can just throw that ball up and he'll go get it. But uh, it, it definitely, uh, the big thing it changes is just confidence going into the offseason. You know you got to be the leader for the guys, and that's the part about being a starting quarterback is you got to be the leader. You got to do the right things on the field and off the field as well, and uh, you got to make sure they're doing the right work. Um, you got to make sure you're getting your throwing in seven on seven. Uh, all the team functions that the coaches can't do because they can't be with us during the summer. Uh, you got to run it as a quarterback. So uh, just going into this season, uh, I just feel a lot more comfortable, and uh, you know, got a year in my belt, and I'm ready to go. Uh, expansion. Uh Obviously, there's a lot of uh, talk about expansion, and there will continue to be talk about expansion as as we move forward into uh, probably someday these super conferences. But uh, again, uh, me and uh, that would never be uh, a situation that uh, we would ever look forward to. Uh, it almost presented itself this year in the bowl game. Um, you know, that's that's not not something I think you ever uh, we would ever do intentionally. But uh, you know, if that's uh, that's in front of you, you got to play who's who's there. So uh, that's not something we would ever you know want to do purposely. That's for sure. Uh, Bob's going to have the great experience of playing Mark uh, this year uh, from Florida State and uh, Oklahoma get together the next two years. And I know just talking to him, that's going to be a very uncomfortable uh, situation. But uh, it's it's just it, sometimes it's inevitable uh, when you're in uh, these places. We're all blessed being uh, great uh, great situations and um, hopefully we could play them in the Rose Bowl or the national championship game. It'd be better. Yeah. Any additional questions? None? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's Mike Stoops, the head coach at Arizona, who's done an excellent job the last two years. He's brought the Wildcats to bowl games. Last year, they did leave with that bitter taste in their mouth because they lost and were pounded by Nebraska in the Holiday Bowl, 33 to nothing. But Mike Stoops has many starters back as a matter.